All right, it's uh, my name is Ace here, and I was just playing around with the a platformer that I'm working on at the moment, and I wanted to do some jump through platforms. Now, the jump through platforms I've seen done on Game Sound so far have been a little bit uh, jerky, a little bit uh, unresponsive, maybe. Um, these ones are just standard platforms and boxes, and I nearly got killed there. Right, so we're coming up to these now. So the ones I've seen uh, so far seem to, when you uh, get close to the, the area, they just snap you up. So say if that jump there, you would actually just snap straight up. And um, another problem I've seen is if we come from um, a big height and hit it, uh, it works fine, but I've seen uh, a lot of them where it'll maybe come past you and then snap straight up. Um, so I went to make something a bit smoother, um, something that you could realistically use in a game, and um, you could use it in, in anything really that you would need a jump through platform, uh, doodle jump style game, anything like that. So if we double jump and make it, he. Uh, smoothly uh, reacts to it otherwise nothing so we just made it then the red one again um, let's jump through that uh, if we go on the blue one we can go through the red um, jump through uh, nearly yeah same on the green and um, so that, that, was, that was great but then I wanted to get it so I could move these ships um, I can't remember if I said but these are just placeholder graphics at the moment these are not actually what the graphics are going to look like these are just colored actors um, so if we take a look in block one it's just a basic math equation really um, we're saying if attribute game character y now I have two real attributes going throughout this game which I use for quite a, diff a few different things which is the um, it's constraining the uh, the players, the actors, um, X and Y values. So I've got an X and a Y. This one just uses the Y. And it's saying this one here, which is if it's greater than or equal to. And then here's the math, math equation. It's pretty simple. It's, it's easy. Um, self position Y. Um, so that is just obviously the position. Um, uh, y position, which uh, game salad goes from the center of the image, so right about where this A is, um, plus. So, at the moment, this is saying if it's if it's greater than the middle, but we want it to say if it's greater than here. So if plus and then open bracket, then we've got the size height divided by two. So again, that's obviously going to get the height weight high, bleh, halfway point. So we're doing the position y, which is here, add the uh, height divided by 2, which takes us up to here, um, which would be great. But we have to uh, take into account the size of the actual the hero, the, the character. And mine is 128 by 128, so we would just half that. So 64. So just a quick recap. We've got self position y plus open bracket, uh, self size height divided by two, so that takes us up there, plus, so we've got the close bracket and then plus 64, which is uh, half of the the actor, and then just collide. Uh, this attribute here, this change attribute, this is just uh, resetting the jump jump thing, this is to do my double jump in my game, you don't need this. So, we'll just, uh, so yeah, yeah, so I can move stuff around, so say if, um, let's have a look, I wanted this to be smaller, to be small, so you can actually fit up this over here. It'll actually it'll um, take all this into consideration and realign itself. So all I did there, as you saw, was just um, stretch them about a bit. So what's well, great on the red, um, and the blue. Look, we can go through the red. Uh, blue, red. Green, 
Okay, cool. So I just thought I'd share that with you. Um, yeah, cool, in a bit.